So I was just watching uh, video footage of um, stage 8 in Rallycross Baie des Chaleurs between me and Michel Bois. So the story was, as I was first overall at the end of stage seven, and Michel Bois knew that he was one second behind me, and he had to make up time. Of course, he has a, a WRX um, all-wheel drive with all the whatnots, right? And I'm front-wheel drive, and I have to hold him off as best I can. We both know that we're going for gold, right? So. Uh, I'm in first, ahead by one second. We start the stage, and it's really interesting to look at both in-car videos together and look at the differences. Watch this. So I repeat, a Nissan gauche 6, followed by a Nissan droite 6, turning vers la vers the You can watch the video to the end, but that's not what's super interesting to see here. Michel has an all-wheel drive car and gets off the line like a, like a crazy cat, like a scared cat. So let's sync the video after the launch, okay? And then let's watch the footage of, of the battle of basically the lines and the driving to see how that plays out. And, and and kudos to Michel, of course he beat me and, and he's an excellent driver and he, he stayed focused and together during his performance. And the point is, I would like to show you the difference in driving style and in the lines of once we're actually off the line. And that's where it becomes very interesting. I love this technical driving detail stuff. You all know that. Now hold on, just to make things fair, right? Um, Michel had one tire that was deflating, or deflated, um, but I mean, it's a rally tire, and uh, I mean, I have stock suspension. My tires were turned around, they're over 10 years old, so whatever, right? There are pros and cons, just watch the lines, very interesting. I suspect his right rear tire is the one that is deflated because it seems like I can catch up at the exit of left-hand corners. Enjoy. Mm -hmm. 